IRS, the Italian Radio Relay Service, we welcome your reception reports and encourage your program comments, which are very much desired and are very useful to our program producers. To obtain a special numbered USL card, please write to IRRS, PO Box 10980, in 20110. That's IRRS, PO Box 10980, in 20110. Well, I'll get it. to WaveScan, the international DX program from Adventist World Radio. Researched and written in Indianapolis by Dr. Adrian Peterson and produced in the studios of WRMI Shortwave in Okeechobee, Florida. I'm Jeff White. This is NWS 681 for release on Sunday, March 13th, 2022. On the program today, the second VOA relay station in the Philippines. We'll have all the latest on shortwave broadcasting to Ukraine and our Philippine DX report from Henry Umarai. In our brief mini-series of topics here in WaveScan about the VOA, Voice of America, radio stations in the Philippines, they've presented the story about their first relay station, which began as a submarine operation under the call sign KZSO, which subsequently morphed into a land-based station, KZFM, in Manila City. We move on now to the story of their second relay station in the Philippines, which was located in the regional city Malalos on Luzon Island. Let's go back to the beginning now with Ray Robinson. Thanks, Jeff. In October 1932, American radio station KSL installed a new 50-kilowatt medium-wave transmitter at a new transmitter site at Saltair, some